All right, it's August 1st, 2020, and uh, there was a report that the golf car had failed again. They told me it stopped going all together after it had been riding along in a jerky manner. And so I suspected we were having brake issues again. The uh, brake on this has caused trouble several times. It goes right here on the end of the motor. And that's the power to it. It, uh, the single and only brake for the RXV Easy Go. I don't know what year this one is, but uh, I have previously worked on this system. I thought I had an electrical issue previously. This is the third brake that this device is, that this cart has had on it. So I went ahead and disassembled it. It smelled like it had been overheated. So first the outer ring comes off and you can see both corrosion and where the uh, brake ring has been making contact. Quite a bit of scarring in there. So that off gets us down to the actual brake pad. And you can see it's had a rough life already. This side being the main braking surface right here. And as I take it apart, I notice quite a bit of buildup brake dust here. Some rusting apparently around here. Remove this stationary plate. This is a stationary steel plate. And this is the piece that moves. So when the when the power is applied to it, it's pulled down against these these five springs. And that's what releases the brake. So the brake is locked with no power going to it, and then it releases when the power goes to the brake. So looking at this level, I begin to see what I believe caused all my issues. This is the power connector and it sits at the top when it's mounted on the motor. This would be the bottom edge. This unit is mounted vertically on the end of the motor, like so. And what I'm seeing is that this thing is taking on rainwater or possibly water from washing the cart and there's no way, no sufficient way for the water to get out. So I see a water line right here. So, and this rusted spring, further evidence of water damage. So, that being the case, what I intend on doing is making some changes to this brake to allow it to breathe. Oh yeah, this ring is free now too. We're going to show you that. What I plan on doing is figuring out a way to allow this compartment to drain. So I will be adding one or more drain holes to the bottom edge here to get the water out. And I think that this one, I saved it soon enough that simply by cleaning everything and reassembling it, my coil here has not su suffered any heat damage yet. I believe by cleaning up all this corrosion, cleaning up all this that I will then be able to rejuvenate 
and make this function again without having to buy a replacement. So, I will update you with another video when that happens.